Hey everyone, Nate here, formerly known as Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. <laughs> okay, actually, that's still my name. I didn't legally get my name changed. I'm still Nathaniel Ruffle Jance. Uh, and for now, anyways, at least as of today, this channel is still Nintendo Prime. There's going to be some changes coming in 2020. Uh, and obviously, the chief change that people want to know about is the content. They want to know where is the content. How often are we going to get it? When are we going to get it? Are you going to have a schedule? Are you going to live stream again? Uh, what's going on with the content? Because content is king. All the other changes I'm doing are next to irrelevant uh, without content. And I am happy to report that as of January 1st, 2020, I will be back in full swing on this channel, uh, releasing a video almost every single day. At least one. Some days might have multiple. It's going to kind of depend on the news cycle. Uh, but what is going to be happening is there will be videos practically every single day. The Nintendo Prime Podcast will be coming back. And yes, it will still be called the Nintendo Prime Podcast. It's not expanding uh, to anything else. It will simply be the Nintendo Prime Podcast just about Nintendo uh, for our core audience, especially those that support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. They have been funding this podcast for quite some time. There might be additional podcasts and stuff we'll have as funding goals on there in the future. Uh, but for now, that's the podcast that we're going to be focusing on with Patreon. I'm not really like trying to grow that podcast per se. It just is what it is. If it gets bigger, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It will be live streamed every single Thursday night uh, around 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So it will be a live podcast with an audio version that comes like the next day, etc. Uh, to iTunes and all of that. So uh, that's what's going to be happening with the podcast. But what's happening with the daily content, the content a majority of you are here to see, is that uh, we're going to be expanding and we're going to be expanding in ways that make sense to me because I have interest in multiple things. See, obviously we've been a Nintendo channel for quite some time, Nintendo Prime, Switch. Uh, this Switch is actually broken. I have a new Switch on its way. Um, it won't be coming in a fancy box like this. This is my launch Switch box. Um, but uh, I do have a Switch on its way that is fully functioning that I can live stream with, record um, gameplay with, all that stuff. It's basically going to be my main Switch. I just have to get some Joy-Cons and stuff for it, so I'll be taking care of that when it comes in. Uh, and I will be uh, getting content really going immediately uh, on that platform. You see, for the past few days, I've been doing up various polls in the community section, trying to figure out the top 10 exclusive games on Nintendo Switch and the order of those games based on what you guys have played, because since I haven't had a working Switch in quite some time, I have missed out on most of the Switch exclusives from 2019. I did play and beat and review Yoshi's Crafted World, and I got my fill of Super Mario Maker 2, and really since then, I haven't really had a working Switch. Uh, now, I will be doing a repair video on the Switch showing some minor repairs I'm doing to this, although I'm not going to be fixing the video out uh, but I'll show how to how to fix like the game card reader and other stuff like that, or how to install one, I guess, because I think that'll be an interesting video. Uh, and I might do other minor repairs of video game platforms in the future, um, just small things that, that need to be fixed on either friends' hardware or my own. But uh, I'm going to be taking those top 10 games and I'm going to be live streaming them. Uh, I'm going to be going from the least voted game to the most voted game in order uh, all the way up until Animal Crossing releases, essentially. Maybe just before Animal Crossing comes out on March 20th of 2020. Uh, the idea is that I get all caught up on all of the major Switch exclusives from 2019 before I dive into some third-party offerings, you know, such as Dragon Quest XI S, The Witcher 3, all of that. I plan to get into those games as well. Uh, but I want to play all the exclusives and I want to do it basically, basically on the order of you guys' voting and your suggestions. And right now, we already know that I'm going to be starting with Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, as that's number 10. It's the last exclusive game, major exclusive game released on Switch in this year. So I will be starting with that. And I will have a stream schedule for you guys, hopefully posted on January 1st on the community section and then advertised on Twitter and everywhere else for when I'm going to be streaming games and what games I'm going to be streaming. Uh, again, some of the games are going to be a little bit harder to predict, like Fire Emblem Three Houses is going to take more time to complete than, say, Ring Fit Adventure or Mario and Sonic. Uh, other games, you know, like Link's Awakening, I have a lot of experience with, so that game might be a lot shorter for me to play. 
versus something like, I don't know, something that I have no experience with, like Astral Chain, uh, wherever that ranks. Astral Chain is probably going to take me a while to beat as well. Now, I'm not looking to 100% these games, but I am looking to just beat the main stories, uh, enjoy what I can, and we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I end up 100%ing them just by accident because that's just what happens. <laughs> uh, it's going to be nice to get back into gaming with Switch in that way. Uh, again, the game, the entirety of the games won't necessarily be streamed, uh, for you guys because I will be playing in handheld mode on my own when I have more time because if I just stick to just streams it could take me six months or so to beat all these games so I want to beat them quicker so I'm prepared for Animal Crossing when it comes out uh, and who knows maybe I'll even review each of these games if you guys are interested why don't you go down in the comments and let me know uh, if you're interested in me reviewing each of these games uh, that we're, that we're going to be playing here to start off the year and again, I'll live stream a lot of my gameplay of it or as, as much as I find time to do. Uh, there might be some in-between streams that aren't planned and aren't scheduled but just happen because I happen to have time uh, that I will be continuing my streams of the whatever game I happen to be playing at the time. So I have my scheduled streams are this is the day, uh, you know, this day and this day and this day, like say two or three days a week, I will be playing uh, Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games or whatever. Uh, and then the next week, maybe I'm finally moved on to the next game and the next game and the next game. And uh, we'll see how that works. My goal is to beat a game per week. So basically one week for each game. That's kind of my goal, but we'll see. Again, I'll have my set streams. And if there's any surprise streams in between, that'll just be a continuation of that gameplay. All right. That being said, um, that's what I'm doing with Switch early uh, next year in addition to covering any major news or anything that happens. Uh, but the channel is going to be expanding beyond Nintendo. And that's because I have other interests. Um, I've had another interest for a long time. Obviously, a lot of people know I'm really into PC and gaming PC stuff. And uh, I don't really have gaming PC, a gaming-capable PC at the moment. My PC literally can edit videos, and that's about it right now. Uh, and that might change in the future because I might have another channel in the works uh, with a buddy that covers tech. And that's going to be a lot of PC tech. So then that also will enable me to do more PC-related video game stuff. So you can look forward to maybe some PC stuff, especially if Age of Empires 4 and other things come out in the next year that I'm really interested in. But I'm going to be basically covering things I'm interested in, whether it's the games, whether it's the tech. Um, now, this year I did not, or this generation, I never purchased a PlayStation 4, but I do have experience with Sony platforms. I mean, this is a, a an OG, fat PlayStation 3 uh, that plays PlayStation 2 games as well. So I used to play games uh, back in the day on PlayStation. And there's that means I've missed out on a lot of some of the best games of the generation um, that came out, you know, on Sony's platform. It's Marvel, you know, not Marvel, uh, Marvel Spider-Man, I guess. I guess is the one I was thinking of there. Um, or, uh, you know, what you know, The Last of Us Part Two that's come in. Obviously, we have all the Uncharted games, which I haven't played any of those. Uh, God of War, etc. So there's a lot of games I missed out on. But here's the thing. Sony has a tendency to remaster these games for the new generation of platforms. So I'm basically not going to worry about it. And I'm going to get a PlayStation 5. Uh, when that comes out and then worry about playing the remastered editions on that along with other new exclusive games uh, but i've obviously been a fan of microsoft for some time i mean i had um, an xbox one x here at uh, at some point i don't have it anymore now i'm not going to be buying a new xbox or one or anything uh this year i'm going to wait until the new xbox launches as well basically my goal is to get both of them at launch um i'm going to be doing one of those layaway programs paying it off over time kind of things but uh it's going to be nice uh to have a fresh start on everything uh going on so you know we'll be talking a lot of next gen we'll be talking a lot about the hardware a lot about the game you know games like hellblade uh, that, you know, there's a Hellblade 2 coming, so it'd be nice to talk about that when we get more information and whatever other games get announced. It, it means that I will have a wider variety of content to cover on the channel. Um, and that's because I have a wide variety of interests. Nintendo, I think, is always going to be maybe the dominant topic at the channel. Uh, but imagine that I could do videos like, you know, hey, Switch versus PlayStation 5 versus Xbox. Uh, Scarlet or you know Xbox Series X or whatever you know Series S whichever one I end up getting uh, because and I could do it from earnest but I'm hands-on actual experience and I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to people I'm obviously always going to be biased towards Nintendo uh, I ran Zelda websites for nearly 20 years I've been doing this Nintendo Prime thing on YouTube covering Nintendo exclusively for about two to three years um, I used to run Nintendo websites. Even when I did a Nintendo-focused gaming site back in the day, Gamnesia, um, still it was really biased towards Nintendo. And I'm always going to have a bias towards Nintendo because they are my childhood. They have been most of my adulthood even. Uh, and I really love Nintendo games and Nintendo products. And I'm not afraid to admit that I have bias there because I don't hide from it. Uh, it is what it is. 
But uh, I also really enjoy other types of gaming and other content that the Switch doesn't even get their hands on. And I do like 4K. You know, I do like 60 FPS. I do enjoy higher than 60 FPS on gaming PCs. I enjoy the highest of fidelity visuals and all that. And I enjoy other types of forms of gameplay and types of games that, that Switch doesn't get, such as a Madden or whatever. Like we get NBA 2K, but technically it's better on other platforms. Um, and I just haven't been allowing myself to experience that because I've been sticking so exclusively to Nintendo. So it's going to be nice to kind of expand um, and basically cover whatever I feel like covering. I think that's the big thing to take away from this is I'm going to cover whatever I feel like covering that day. It's still going to be a lot of Nintendo content. So for you, those of you out there that are like, Nintendo Prime is doing all this other like stuff. Well, I'm so worried about Nintendo coverage. There's still going to be a majority of... Nintendo coverage. I would say a majority of videos made every week will still be pretty focused on Nintendo, but there's going to be videos, maybe more of them, some more frequently some weeks, less frequently other weeks, uh, that are going to be focused on other platforms and other games that aren't on Switch. And I know that might bother you, but I like to not uh, hold myself back in the kind of videos I want to make. And in that spirit, the channel itself is going to be rebranded. Uh, the rebrand is going to happen a little bit before January 1st. I'm going to slowly work towards it. I'm working on um, some new channel art. I'm trying to figure out what I want the icon to be. The icon's probably going to be me, uh, a picture of me or my face or me holding a switch up. or so, I don't know. It's going to be something to do with me because the channel's name is simply going to be Nate Jance. That's it. Nate Jance, all one word. Not Nathaniel Ruffle Jance. I actually have another channel called that, which is why I'm not doing that. Uh, but Nate Jance. And the idea is that I will just start going by Nate in the future. If you want to use my last name or part of my last name in Jance, you, you, when you talk to me, you feel free. Uh, but the idea is that the channel is just about me. And it's about my interest, my wants, my desires in the video game realm. Um, I'm going to kind of get away from that side branding of Nintendo Prime. Now, there there will be, um, you know, I'll still wear, you know, I have Nintendo Prime shirts and, and nostalgia shirts and stuff like that. I'm still going to keep the Nintendo Prime website going. Um, I'm going to probably rebrand the Twitter account, the official Nintendo Prime Twitter account to, um, to, to Nate Jance as well. Uh, but more than that, I am going to... Um, Keep some of the Prime stuff going. We're still, you know, whatever I decide to do with Prime News will still be called Prime News. Uh, I'm still going to, whatever I decide to do with the podcast, it's still going to be called the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Uh, I am still going to keep some of that branding going in certain ways. Uh, but the channel branding is going to be myself, so I can just do whatever the hell I feel like. Now, again, none of that matters if I don't bring the content. And at this point, uh, there's no reason for you to trust that I'm going to bring the content because I haven't built up that trust in 2019. In fact, I spent the majority of this past year pretty much destroying all the goodwill I had built up for a couple years. Uh, and I, there's nothing I can do about the past. I can only worry about the future and a little bit about the present. So for those of you that have stuck around on our Patreon all these months while I've been uh, struggling with a lot of stuff, thank you so much for sticking around. For those of you that are stuck by the channel, still tune into every video, show up to my random live streams. Thank you so much for showing up and supporting and just being generally awesome people. Uh, I've had a wonderful holiday season with my family. We have had an amazing Christmas, and I'm sure I'm going to have a really, really fun New Year's because for the first time in forever, uh, me and the the old lady are going to be going out for New Year's Eve uh, with some friends, which is something we haven't done in like five or six years. It's been a long time. So it's been great having all this family time, but I'm ready to get back to work get back to the grindstone and produce the kind of content I want to make for you that interests me the most. And I feel like in expanding what we do um, or what I cover, I'm going to have more passion coming forward in every video. I won't feel like I need to make a video for this day on something I'm not that passionate about. Like if I scour the news and I'm like, oh, there's nothing Nintendo related, but look at this cool Xbox story. That cool Xbox story will rule the day. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I, I plan to do more discussion videos and more, basically more of everything, but I'm not going to dedicate to you guys what video is coming on what day right now. My focus to start 2020 is just a video per day, every day. Uh, and we'll go from there. So, uh, oh, plus the, the scheduled live streams for the games. We'll see how a, a schedule for playing things works out once I beat all those games. Uh, but I am looking to schedule streams. Now, I'm not going to tell you if the schedule is going to be at night or during the day. That is yet to be determined. I will I will sort that out on my end. But uh, you guys will know ahead of time. So thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nate Jantz.
And uh, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe for more content. I uh, look forward to the branding change and all this stuff coming forward. Uh, hopefully you stick by and uh, see if you enjoy the new content coming in 2020. Um, maybe I'll make more use of this green screen thing. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video.